Hi, I'm Jim Brom, Area Sales Manager with Iridex in Southern California. What we'd like to cover is focusing the laser to the slit lamp and vice versa. When the two are in focus, it's called par focality. If they're not both in focus, when the surgeon is using the laser and they have their target tissue in focus, if the laser's not in focus, you're using either too much power or the focus is way off and they're gonna have a difficult time getting the proper application of uh, burn or if you're using micropulse, the application won't be correct. What you'd like to have is a focusing post, which is inserted aiming post. We're also gonna be using the oculars, the horizontal aiming beam adjustment, the spot size selector, and the fine focus micrometer. When you start out, you wanna use the aiming post. You'll use a 50 micron spot and you want to zero out the oculars. You don't want plus, minus, you want zero. Let's take the aiming post, insert it. You don't need to move the slit lamp, you can lock it down. The aiming post moves with the slit lamp. Activate the laser, turn the aiming beam on so it projects onto the aiming post. You want to use a 50 micron spot. Use a 50 micron spot or the small spot available on your slit lamp adapter. Going defocusing posterior or anterior, it's the easiest to detect. Aiming beam should be at its smallest configuration. The way to check that is to put the post in, select the 50 micron spot, turn the laser on, and at that point, if you're not sure that you're at the smallest spot configuration, use the fine focus micrometer. Looking through the oculars, view the aiming beam and slightly move and turn the fine focus micrometer. You'll see the aiming beam expand, enlarge, contract, and you want the smallest configuration. At that point, stop. The laser is in focus with the slit lamp. If the aiming beam is off horizontally, you'll use the horizontal adjustment. In this case, it says X, the same X as you have in a graph, and just turn until it moves into view. You can also use your illuminated spot and adjust that to the smallest configuration. At that point, you can adjust the horizontal and vertical axis of your aiming beam, put it right in the middle, and you're right in the center of that visual field. So let's cover a pattern generator, in this case, the Iridex Tech Cell. It's critical that each surgeon know their adjustments and their oculars. You'll turn each ocular all the way to minus five. You'll see a minus and plus. Turn each one to a minus five. At that point, the surgeon will have one eye open, one eye closed. Viewing through the ocular with the open eye, slowly turn the ocular towards the plus side. As soon as the aiming post comes into focus, stop. You can do this two or three times a younger surgeon will start to accommodate much more than an older surgeon. And then reverse and do it for the other eye. At that point, note the adjustments and the settings on each ocular. That will be that surgeon's individual customized adjustments on the oculars. If you have further questions, please go to the Iridex website at iridex.com. Thank you.